Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a one month update, so slightly over one month, um, month and a half, two months maybe, update on the smart car. Now, I can't believe it's gone this quick. Um, it doesn't feel that long, that long ago that we bought it, but um, we've had this car now for, yeah, a month and a half, two months, and we have done over two and a half thousand miles uh, in this car alone. So it's uh, well and truly had good use um for those who don't know this is a 2003 smart car that we bought for we taxed insured bought it filled it up for less than 1600 pounds um and this was my response to the rising fuel prices was to spend more money um on another car so we've now got three cars in the drive life fleet um because why not so um the idea was that we would save a lot of money on fuel and it should pay for itself in a couple of months um this doing 60 to the gallon quite easily now um and the fact that you can park it anywhere we've got sort of limited parking at home but it's tiny so you can park it anywhere um and one of the one of the things that really topped it off this car was the fact it was lpg now the lpg system they took the dealer said that wasn't working um so i'll let you know how we've got on with that but um, in theory, this car should pay for itself within a couple of months. Because um, we've got the Jeep that did 20 to the gallon. Uh, this is doing more than three times that. We're going to save a good amount of fuel um, and money. Um, and because it costs so little to have, it costs £162 to insure it for my girlfriend and I, um, £30 a year to tax, it seemed like a no-brainer. So how have we got on? Well, to be honest, this is one of my favourite cars ever. Um, I love this thing, it's brilliant. Um, I've just got the no little tiny three cylinder 0.7 litre engine. Um, we've taken it on motorways, we've taken it um, A roads through Wales, I've taken it camping, and it's just, it's just done it all. Um, so obviously they're not the biggest cars, as we all know, but inside they're huge um, because obviously you have the engine here but then the car goes up to literally the front, so you don't have any wasted space. So in the back, you've got a reasonably sized boot, uh, which we have Otto the dog in, big Labrador. As you can see, there's plenty of room in there for him. It's a big amount. Um, how can I describe it? Probably two and a bit foot deep, and then probably three and a half, four foot wide. It's really, really big, um, so he can lie down across there comfortably he has the whole back with his bed there and um it's perfect so when we took him camping mrs deal had gone ahead with the jeep um, a couple of days before um and then we drove around while we, while we, no, once, I'd, once i'd arrived because i was working so i went down afterwards and uh, he was in there we were cruising around around the beaches and he was loving it um now I've also packed it, I don't know why I've shut it, I've packed it full of camping chairs um, before, so you've got a nice big, well you've got loads of stuff, I had uh, bags, all sorts of stuff, and it was perfect. And then recently, Mrs. Deanne and I went away in Birmingham, uh, romantic weekend away, and uh, we packed stuff in the back, but one of the biggest things is actually the interior space, because yes you've got You've got sort of that boot, but you've also got no tunnel here. So it's good because you can uh, climb across to the other side. So when I park it in a tiny space and I can't get the driver's door open, I can climb across to the other side and uh, get out that side. But also, it's a good place to put bags. Mrs. DL puts her feet there, um, and you can put sort of a nice big duffel bag there with all your clothes in for the weekend and it's quite comfortable because Mrs Dale can sort of rest her legs on it um, when she's not driving of course you then also got these cubbies here um you've got the storage on here currently got a hat two hats and a pair of socks from the camping trip is <laughs> brilliant isn't it and the door pockets um as well Otto the dog lies down and he'll have his head sort of between our shoulders resting on the seats he loves it and it's just yeah really 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 practical actually um com considering the size of the thing um room in the back there for shopping um i'll do the weekly cheaper to go to the week to go to the shops in this than it is any of other cars i'll come inside because the, the man on the uh ride on mower is uh not being particularly helpful so um 
yeah, like I said, we've done two and a half thousand miles, um, and it's been thoroughly comfortable throughout. Um, it really has been um, a joy to be in. Um, what have we? What have we? Um, we've done motorways, like I said, and on, on motorways, at motorway speeds, it's very comfortable. Um, it's probably. I'm just gonna put the window up so the noise isn't too much. Probably um, one of the sort of more noisy cars I've driven on a motorway, but you expect that in a tiny car that's shaped like an egg, I suppose. Um, it's not a, and it's so light as well. Uh, it hasn't got much sound deadening, so it is noisy, but it's perfectly capable at those speeds. It's perfectly comfortable at sitting, as, there he is, look. Perfectly comfortable with sitting at 60 miles, 60, 70 miles an hour, two and a half thousand RPM, uh, because it's the six speed transmission, it's perfect. Um, a roads and B roads, it's just good fun. Uh, it's so light, 750 kilos. Clove probably closer to a ton by the time me and Mrs. Diella are in it, and we've got the dog in it um, and packed all our stuff. But um, still, yeah, still very lightweight. No power steering, so it's really direct. And you can just chuck it through bends, you can chuck it down roads. You're not particularly worried about width of roads because it's so small. Um, it's just an absolute joy to drive really. Um, I've been really surprised with it. I've never felt like it needed to be faster, apart from when I've tried to overtake things um, and realised I'm not in the Volvo, so it doesn't quite just shoot past things like that car does. Um, but yeah, it's just a brilliant car. Look, you've got all sorts of storage in here. You've got, you've got a drawer underneath the seat there, uh, which is brilliant. And um, it just does everything I've ever wanted a car to do. Um, so I said I'd give you an update on the LPG. So we now have it working, sort of. We have a light on our controller and it will switch over to LPG quite nicely. The only thing um, is that when you switch it to over LPG, the, um, the engine conks out and um, every time I try and fill it with LPG, um, I can never put any in. So, um, got a bit of a confusing issue going on, conundrum. We've also got um, an issue where every now and then you can smell some LPG gas in the car, so we have to drive the windows open. Not ideal. Seems to only happen when Mrs. L Mrs. Uh, Mrs. LPG, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. DL um, is sat in the car, so I don't know what that says. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a, a smell of gas in the cabin, so um, that's a strange one. Um, so, what I've discovered is that someone has actually, I say unwired, or cut the wires to the LPG injectors. Now this is quite common for people who buy, buy an LPG car who um, don't want the LPG system, they just want the car, so they just cut all the, all the wires. Um, so it's quite easy to do, you can just um, sort of solder them back together really. Um, so I think once we do that, we should have a fully working LPG system, um, which at 80 pence a litre, although it's not quite as efficient as petrol, is much cheaper than filling it with conventional fuel so um, that'll make this car even cheaper but i think to be honest i'm saving 40 pounds a week driving this car um so that's worth it in my book <laughs> so uh, yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know your thoughts on the smart um let me know if you've got any ownership experiences and whether you agree with my comments and uh, before the motor man comes i'll see you next video cheers